An Egyptian court sentenced former President Hosni Mubarak and his two sons to three years in jail for embezzlement on Wednesday. The judge decided that Mubarak and his family had stolen about three million dollars. The money was supposed to be spent on repairs to presidential palaces, but Mubarak apparently used the cash to improve his own homes. Mubarak's two sons were sentenced to four years for the same case. This is just the latest twist in the three-year process of prosecuting Mubarak, who stepped down after millions of Egyptians protested against him in 2011. Mubarak was convicted in 2012 for his role in the killings of hundreds of protesters and sentenced to 25 years in jail, but a higher court overturned the ruling. A later effort to retry Mubarak for the murder trials charges is still ongoing. But the drama of Mubarak's trials and retrials has been overshadowed by the new government's pursuit of Islamist supporters of Mohamed Morsi, who is Mubarak's successor. Human rights activists have complained that thousands of Morsi's supporters are given much harsher sentences for smaller crimes. Yet the overwhelming anger against Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood has rekindled affections for Mubarak and the military institution that backed him. On Monday, Egyptians will vote for their third president in four years. They're likely to choose Abdel Fattah Hassisi, a military leader who many here say will reinstitute Mubarak's old policies. From Cairo, this is Matt Bradley, reporting for The Wall Street Journal.